It's a well-known fact that the network has lagged behind compute and storage with the available tools to automate and scale their engineering efforts. The Itential Developer Hub is committed to enabling developers not only with Itential's automation platform, but with accelerating the move towards a programmable network. We provide easy-to-use tools and technologies that democratize the skills needed to collaborate on designing, building, and running network operation automations. These tools range from pre-built automations, which rapidly enable your organization to expand on the breadth of their use cases, to an extensive library of pre-built adapters for integrating IT systems and network technologies, such as Cloudify, Slack, Jira, Infoblox, and more. We also provide our own open source projects that our own Itential developers leverage within our automation projects and our best practices. In this video, we are going to focus on our adapter builder tool which will allow you to rapidly generate your own adapter by dragging and dropping any OpenAPI, Postman, or Swagger document. In this example, I'm going to be using the Salesforce Status Trust API. I'm going to save the Swagger document so that I can drag it in to the adapter builder. The builder will provide you with any possible warnings or tips along the way. I'm going to proceed as is. In this second step of defining the adapter, I can see from the tooltip that my current name is Status API for Trust One. I'm going to change this to Salesforce Status Trust. I'm also provided with the ability to change information that will populate our README file. In particular, I would like to be able to point back to the Swagger documentation so that others can access the API as well. The next step is to populate the connectivity properties for pointing to that external system. I have the ability to select HTTP or HTTPS, and I will populate my host with the URL for Salesforce Status Trust. I'm now being asked to populate any base path or version for the API. You can see in the tooltip what the current API will consist of. If I reference back to our Swagger documentation, I can see that the base URL is slash v1. I'm going to populate that here, and I'm going to leave the version blank. The next step is around authenticating that connection to the external system. There are several authentication methods available. In this case, no authentication is needed. And I'm going to skip any health checks. We have the ability for enabling optional properties, such as throttling adapter calls, or enabling a proxy or SSL. This won't be needed for my adapter. In the penultimate step, Itential's Adapter Builder provides a view of all of the entities and endpoints that have been directly generated from the consumed Swagger document. You can drill in to see the parameters and responses for each of the individual calls and can pick and choose what you'd like to expose for your adapter. I'm choosing to expose all available API calls. We're now on our final step for creating the adapter. I will provide my email address and click download adapter. The final page provides detailed instructions on how to install, test, and run integrations with your newly built adapter. Through the Itential Adapter Builder, we've saved time and resources with self-service capabilities for connecting to your organization's entire IT network and DevOps ecosystem, enabling an accelerated time for end-to-end -end network automations.